Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moikins from Big Mountain Studio. And in the fourth part of this series, I'm going to show you how to tilt the card as you swipe it back and forth. So as you start to swipe it toward the right, we're going to tilt it to the right. And as you start to swipe it to the left, we're going to tilt it more toward the left. Gives it a better user experience. Okay, have fun. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more, I guess you could say I'm going to add a little bit better user experience. So when I drag this card, remember when I showed you the, the original demo? It was, t it was tilting the card. So as I got over here, it was tilting the card 35%. And as I get over here, it was tilting the card, I'm mean, not 35%, 35 degrees. So over here was negative 35 degrees. Over here was a uh, positive 35 degrees tilt that it added to the card. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. So if you watch my other videos, you're probably familiar with uh, CG Affine transforms. If you haven't watched them, I'll just give you a slight, a very quick description. What we're going to do is we're going to do a transform on the card. And tra when I say uh, transform, oh here, let's stop this. Let's get some room for ourselves here. Okay. When I say transform, I mean it could be one of three things are happening to this object, to the card. CG Affine Transform gives us three things. It allows us to rotate objects, allows us to scale them, which means it makes them bigger or smaller, and allows us to add a translation to them, which basically means it allows us to give it a new X and Y coordinate to move it to the new coordinate. And this translation, sort of like the translation up here that we got from the, the sender, so CG Affine gives us these three functions. And affine just basically means it preserves parallel relationships on the object, which means it doesn't warp it, twist it, doesn't do any of those things to the object. Notice the rotation scale and translation, they always keep the original ratio, or, or not ratio, they always keep the original form of the object. They just make it bigger, smaller, or rotate it, or move its position. And that's all affine means, or affine means. It just yeah, it just, it just maintains the parallel relationships of the object. And so what we want to do is we want to apply a rotation angle to it. Remember, I was saying 35 degrees, right? So this value right here, I'm not going to put 35 in there because I want to rotate it 35 degrees, but this doesn't recognize degrees like as we know it. It recognizes radians. And so, you know, I already looked it up on the Internet, but 35 degrees equals 0 0.61 radians. But this isn't going to work. Because watch, if I run it, it's just going to turn it 35 degrees and it's going to stay there. It doesn't matter whether I go right or left with it. So that's one of the things I want to do. If I go over here, I actually want to change that value to 0 0.61. And over here, I want to leave it as 0.61. So I need a positive and, an, and a negative value. And not only that, but as I start as I start to drag it, you know, I might only want it to move like 1 degrees, 2 degrees, 3 degrees, you know, 15, 20, 25, and then 35 degrees by the time I come over here. So that's going to take some math. And this was tricky to figure out, uh, but I'm going to show you how. Oh, we should also do this too. If we're applying a transform to the object, when I click reset, we want to reset the transform on the object too. So let's do that before I forget here. And the way to reset transforms is you just say CG affine transform dot identity. And identity will restore the object's original position, shape, scale, and rotation back to the way it was. And and this is this is just an enumeration. So really what I could do, I don't even need this this front part because Swift allows me to just say dot and then the, the last part of the enumeration. So I can just leave it like this too. Okay, so that's resetting. Okay, so we have this problem now. And here, the way I, I kind of figured this out is I kind of had to like reverse engineer it. Think about it like this. The only valid values we want when we reach the left edge or the right edge is 0 0.61 or negative 0 0.61 if it's on the left side. So how do we arrive at that? So here's, let me just get, kind of give you an example here. Okay, say again, we start with a, a width of 100, just to keep it easy. We have a width of 100, and when I get to 
either 0 or let, let's take the right side first. How do we arrive at 0 0.61 when we get to the right side? It basically when my finger reaches 100, the right side, the right edge, I want it to be 0 0.61. So basically what I did is I need to start with a number that will give me I need a number that will give me 0 0.61. And remember, when I'm going, when I'm starting from the center, which is at 50, and I go 50 over, I want it to be 0 0.61. So imagine this: imagine a width of 100, and you divide that by two, and it gives you 50. So on the right side, you have 50 points. And when I'm at the 50th point, I want it to equal. I want this rotation angle to equal 0 0.61. So what I can do is this. I can divide it by 0 0.61 and this will give me a number that is like 81.967 and a little bit more. So then I want to store this number right here. So then when I come here into my rotation angle I know how far I am from the center and so I can just take that number and divide it by this number and it will give me 0 0.61. So what I need to do is, is find out what half of the width is and then divide that by 0 0.61 and that will be my divisor. A divisor is the number on the other side of a uh, division. So like in so for this division formula right here, this is called the divisor right here. So let's create a variable for that. And it's going to be a CG float. And I'm using an exclamation because I know it'll have a value because I'm going to set it right here. My divisor will equal, and remember, we want uh, half of the width of the view divided by two. like that. And then we want to divide that by 0 0.61. So if you're writing your own functions and you want maybe you don't want so much tilt or maybe you want more rotation when as you drag the card, you can just, you know, increase this number right here. This is the degree of tilt that you want expressed in radians. Okay, so once I have my divisor, now I can just take that and do this. Just take my x from center, divide it by my divisor, and that should give me what I want. Okay, so as I start to drag it, as I get over to the edge, there's my 35 degree angle right there. As I go to the other edge, oops, I went too far, dragged it off. There's my 35 degree angle right there. And you can see this, this works perfectly no matter where I am. All right, good, so we have our angle. And you know, the way I did it here, I honestly don't know if this is the best way. It's just a way that I figured out that worked. So maybe, you know, if, if any of you math geniuses out there maybe know a better way, you know, please share it in the comments below because <laughs> I could learn from you. This is just a way that I, I figured out. It took me a little while. Okay, so let's, so we, we pretty much have everything in there, right? Everything's working the way we want it to. We drag it off, and it has a nice angle. Okay, so one last thing I want to teach you, and this is the bonus content, is what if you want it to get smaller as you go off to the sides? All right, let me show you how to do that. Okay, that's it for the end of the fourth part. You learned how to tilt the card as you moved it to the right or to the left. And in the next part, I'm going to show you how you can resize the card and make it a little bit smaller as you get closer to the right or the left edge of the screen. All right, thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Share it with your friends. And please consider subscribing so you get notified when the next part of this series comes out. And you'll also get notified when more cool videos come out like this. Thank you.